All right. Okay. So, uh, uh, hello, YouTube. I'm going to be uh, explaining you guys this crazy new thing that came out, which is very cool. Um, it basically, potentially, can replace iPhone face tracking. So I'm going to be talking about what it is and how can you get it and uh, what does it do, all right? So first of all, we're going to start with this and I'll like, I'll try to put all the links in the, in the bottom somewhere. So first of all, it's this thing. It's called iFacial Fa Mocap by NVIDIA. So you go on this website right here and I'm not sure if it's free right now, but at the time of me talking about this, it is free. So you can get it for free. 14 days remaining today is august 16th so keep an eye out right so you need this then you also will need uh what is this called nvidia broadcast and nvidia broadcast you will need nvidia broadcast okay so yeah this is only for nvidia ca cards uh so you need to get nvidia broadcast as well and then what you also need to get is yeah broadcast ar sdk all right here okay so you also will need to go on this website i'm gonna put it in the thing as well uh it's called you can google it by nvidia broadcast uh, and sdk and you need to download this particular one it's called ar right and it's for like different RTX cards for 20 series, 30 series, or 40 series. You need to download this one as well. So what you do is, first you install your iFacial mocap, right? This software, but you also need to install NVIDIA Broadcast, right? Software. You don't need to really set this up, but you just need this. Once you install this, you need to install the... Then you need to install the AR SDK, this one. And what this will allow is for this software to show up this type of face. So what this little face right here is, it's basically a mask. A same mask that iPhone produces, for example, uh, whenever it's using its, uh, whenever you're using its AR kit and all the other AR stuff, basically, right? Now, I will say one thing that to keep in mind is make sure whenever you do this, whenever you launch this, uh, before you launch this, make sure you have your AR uh, SDK for your NVIDIA broadcast. And once you do that, in the input, you're going to have NVIDIA broadcast, right? In the output, well, we're going to talk about this later, but this also can be used with Blender, Maya, 3ds Max, and all this other stuff. And then in options, one thing that you have to do is you make sure that you go down here in advanced options and you change your nvidia input display to avatar okay and that should work also if it still doesn't work try play, playing around with this stuff okay cool so once you do this you're gonna have this little guy over here so you can use this little guy with various other softwares like i said one of them being vc face so this one so in VC phase, you can actually go in settings, general settings, scroll all the way down, and you're gonna find this one right here, VMC receiver. Once you click on it, I would suggest like having these options like blend smooth at 0.1 and then bone smooth at 0.2, and then like try to like click in all the stuff that I have. Or like uh, apply expressions, track face features, and then uh, like uh, undo this one, this one, and this one. Basically, if you don't do this two, for example, it's gonna 
like put your hands in a position as if they should be tracked but obviously you can't so yeah untrack this if you don't need to obviously right so yeah and there you go so and, uh, you will basically uh have your character be uh animated by this face right here you see as i move around with face with eyes So you get basically similar tracking to what you would get with iPhone, which is very fucking cool. Now, the only thing that I will say, this is, this here is not perfect. And the only reason for this is because I have a beard, but I already tested this with my wife. Uh, obviously she doesn't have a beard. And uh, with having a smooth face, you get pretty much one-to-one -one results that you would get with your iPhone. So this is very crazy. Uh, this technology, I'm pretty sure, uses some uh, NVIDIA AI shenanigans. So, yeah, you pretty much do not need iPhone anymore. You pretty much don't need it anymore. Um, now, as far as, like, it working with other softwares, for example, with Blender, I tested it out yesterday. And it does work. Now, I do have an old version of Blender. You guys can, because this is how uh, the version that I work in. But you can uh, definitely try this in newer versions, but I'm just gonna show it off here as well. So all I have to do is like disconnect this from my VMC protocol, change this to Blender then in blender uh you will need eye facial mocap um add-on and you can actually get it here when you click that little add-on button you you are gonna have your blender uh script uh, if you want to add this to your blender it's very simple all you have to do is like open this add-on uh file here copy this right here right you go into your control alt u in blender add-ons you press install in the directory you just copy this and then you do this one right and then you can uh, search it here with eye facial it's gonna be right here you enable it you save your preferences obviously right and then here on the right side when you press n you're gonna have a little eye facial mocap thingy here you press that you go back here connect to blender and there you go now it's in blender as well now the only thing that i will say it's a little bit laggy in blender and i'm not really sure why that's the case but the fact that you can actually do this still is pretty cool um there are some things that you have to keep in mind for example it reads off of um like you need to put in your uh object obviously for what it needs to like take the blend shapes from head bone right eye bone left eye bone and armature right you have to put in the same ones that you're using this character is not necessarily set up for this because uh it needs like a different like straight uh what you might call it like this type of eyes okay maybe like this type of straight pointing up eyes where is it dude oh, there you go but uh yeah you get the gist of it basically right where is it so yeah, this is pretty cool you can actually like directly do it here now again like i said like this is slightly laggy because i'm pretty sure this is meant for 3.3 version of blender and newer versions of blender so do try it out tell me if you get different results uh but uh yeah i don't know i'm not really sure why it's so laggy maybe it's because there's a lot of mesh in the screen maybe there's some other reasons but uh yeah but you can definitely do it which is pretty fucking cool um what else all right wait let me disconnect it from here so it's very simple like i just disconnected from here right it's gonna stop re uh doing here let's say if i want to switch it back to vc face all i have to do let me actually put the little guy on the screen there we go so you can like keep seeing the guy 
So if you wanna, if I want to like connect it back to here, all I have to do is go back here, put it to a VMC protocol, and then connect. And there you go, we're back here. Very cool. Um, now I do wanna talk about a little bit about options that he has. This is more in depth, I guess. So I had some problems with this and I'm pretty sure people always have problems with like AR kit and iPhone tracking that the eyes sometimes don't close, right? So this software is great for that. In particular that you can play uh, around a lot with its options. In particular, um, if you don't have like full body stuff, you can basically affect how much your neck. Let me put this in a way where we can see both of these things. There you go. You can basically, uh, let's do spine for example, right? Let's say like I'm moving around, right? I can affect this directly how much my head twist is gonna affect my spine twist, right? If I wanna do more, I do more. If I wanna do less, I can do less, right? So my chest almost doesn't move. So if you want some movement with your chest, you can do this live, right? You can just change these options. This is this is already outside of VC phase. So that's the cool part about this. You don't have to know every software and how it does things. All you have to do is just go into iFacial mocap, uh, go into options and just adjust all the things the way you want them to be adjusted. Another thing, that, another problem that I had was with shape keys themselves, AR kit shape keys. That whenever I would close my eyes, I'm gonna demonstrate real quick. Like eye blink, I'm gonna put them to the default ones. So whenever I would close them, sometimes they would not close fully, right? So what I what I did was I you can basically increase the weight of the shape keys, right? But you have to limit them. So by default, it was at 100. And I'm gonna show you how horrible this looks whenever it's at 100. So if I try blinking, like it goes through, right? Because it's like affecting it by five times more weight than it should. So the easy solution to that is just put it at one, right? I'm gonna limit it to one. But when I blink now, right? It actually does it properly. Now I know I do know Vinyan does that as well, but again, it was it's within that software. The cool part about this one is that you can do it just in this one software in iFacial mocap, and it works for everything. It works for everything else. So it's just this one thing you set it up here the way you want to set up, set up, and that's it. Uh, so yeah, there's like a bunch of things you can. Uh, uh, like this, it's all the basic uh, uh, shape keys that are with uh, uh, AR kit shape keys. And uh, you can mess with this, set it up the way you want to set them up in terms of weight and whatnot. I think I did that same with jaw open. Again, like I said, the only problem right now with this software is that I have beard. And unfortunately, uh, since I have beard, it does not work properly. Uh, I wish it really did, but it just doesn't. So yeah, this is a, this is this is very 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 cool for everyone that has Nvidia account cards. This is official by Nvidia again. Um, it it does a wonderful job. The only problem is, like I said, if you have beard, well, you gotta cut it. But uh, if your face is clean shaven, or you're a girl, or you know you're face is like you know yes i can say that if you're a girl wait what if like you are like you know you're like you know, i whatever the fuck anyways but yeah you can uh it's uh, it's pretty simple uh and you can do all of this stuff and basically save yourself from buying a new fucking iphone very cool very fucking cool do test it out let me know how you guys how it works for you guys I think I covered everything, right? So where to download it from, then uh, NVIDIA broadcast, AR stuff, how to set it up. I mean, setup is pretty simple. You just launch both of the stuff and just install it. Live subscribe, yeah, like and subscribe, like, 
and the subscriber. Like I said, like my model might not be responding to it properly right now because I'm a dude. Yes, I'm actually a guy. I know. And I have beard and he doesn't like my beard. Oh, OK. One small thing that I did notice. Uh, I know like a lot of people when it comes to VC face in particular, like using audio and uh, mouth tracking hybrid thing and it doesn't work for some reason for in vc face it doesn't work maybe it's my vc face version but i tried it and didn't work uh i'm not sure who to contact for this but maybe one of the vc face dev are gonna watch this and then maybe you guys can tell me what i can do about it because i was not able to actually get it working but yeah, other than that it's just perfect like i said um I mean, you can see the little guy on the top right, right? Yeah. Like this GPU guy. Let me get another one. But yeah, it works. The only problem, like I said, is that it doesn't track my mouth properly because I have beard. All right, that's pretty much it, right? Okay, I literally did it in 15 minutes. I thought this was going to be an hour, dude. Holy All right. But yeah, uh, I'm going to try to put maybe some more updates regarding this, but I feel like it doesn't need any more like any in-depth explanation. If uh, if people are going to tell me that maybe it does need an in-depth explanation, maybe I will do it then. Right? But I feel like it's pretty, pretty, pretty straightforward. I, I, it's going to be... Uh, okay, let's go back to normal, boys.